Hey guys, it's Fogheart from the Tokyo Digital Crew. Just um, a quick tutorial on how to use Dropbox for importing audio files into GarageBand. Right, so start by loading up GarageBand. Um, and I'm going to assume you've probably got a project that you want to put tracks into. So here's one I made earlier. Now, I just want to add, we're gonna, let's add a random piece of audio. So to add any kind of a loop or audio um, sample into GarageBand, you want to press this, what looks like a loop the loop button. Press that and it'll bring up this menu. Now this is Apple Loops um, and you can tap these um, to sample them. And if you really want, you just drag and drop that in, like so. Yeah, but that's not what we're after. So let's undo that. What we want is our own audio files from Dropbox. So if you go to the same loop thing, um, where it says audio files, then you want to press import from iCloud Drive. That should bring up the iCloud. But we, if you press locations and then press more, it'll bring up a menu here like this. Mine just says Dropbox, but if you've got Google Drive or OneDrive installed, um, it will also bring up those um, options. So you can import audio from any of those kind of things, any sort of cloud storage apps that you've got on here. You can import audio from those. So you just slide the switch, which just gives GarageBand access to it. Press done and go back to locations and click in the Dropbox. Tokyo Digital Crew, then just navigate to the audio that you want. So I'm going to Hiko Simon's box because I know he's got a couple of um, loops in there that might be useful. Unfortunately I don't know what the tempos are, but it'd be great. So actually, look, a reverse symbol. Can't go wrong with a reverse symbol. So you tap it and it'll load it straight in. Now we can audition it on this page as well. That's a really long reverse symbol. Let's drag it in and see what. Oh, nearly deleted it. Let's drag it in and see what's going on. Drag. There we go. Ah, that's why. Look. Render the audio image right at the end, you see. Which suggests it's more of a mixed down thing. So if we just drag that back, press play. Yeah. So that one's pretty simple, um, but let's import something else. So that will stay there now in my own, in your own audio file sort of area. You can delete them, uh, slide left and press delete. Let's import something else. So when you press import from iCloud Drive, it always defaults back to this page. But once you've enabled the access to the Dropbox or any other storage, it should always be in the list. Navigate back. Have I got any files? I think all mine are big files. Yeah, we won't go any then. Let's have a look. See, Nombiri, have you got any? Hmm, some interesting stuff there. Right, we'll stick with Hiko Simon. We'll go for. We've already got a base. that one. Wait for it to load it in. Nice. Drag and drop. So you can either drag to another track uh, to make a new track or you can drop it on a, an existing track. Um, I'm going to keep dragging and dropping onto new tracks. Right. 
Uh, it's not going to sound amazing, but let's just press play. Cool. Right. Oh, very good. Just discovered something new. I didn't know you could do. You can reverse the audio. Just for just for a laugh. Interesting. So let's just because we've got a reverse symbol in here, it has to be done. Copy. Paste. Drag that right to the uh, zoom right in on that. Duplicate that one. Copy. Paste. So if we want to reverse that, go into settings. So this is a bit of a bonus on the end of the tutorial. Reverse. We can put looping on as well. Not sure what that does. So not bad. There's actually a tiny bit of silence on the start of that. Right tiny bit of silence that bothers me. But I won't do it now because uh, this is a tutorial about importing audio. So there you have it. A quick uh, review. Press the loop button. Import from iCloud. Locations. Go to more. Enable the storage area. Back to locations. Where you want to go. And then just navigate to your, um, to your files. Like so. And Bob's your uncle. Oh, you've enjoyed this, guys. Um, like and subscribe, of course. Um, and please use as much music as you want. Because that's what it's there for. Cheers, guys.